Morning guys, you two people. World everywhere, wherever, wherever. Oh man, I'm tired. I don't know if you guys are tired. I'm tired. I'm wore out. I'm putting hats on wrong. Stupid strap. Oh man. Anyway guys, welcome back to the channel Hot Fast 719. If you guys haven't already subscribed subscribe if you have awesome like this video if you do if you don't I don't care I'm tired anyway driving home last night a noise weird driving home last night I hit a lot of animals and all kinds of weird stuff um there's a uh, murder uh, murder hornet. Look at the front end of this Audi, man. Thing is hammered. So, start off with uh, what happened. So, I was driving, obviously, and uh, yeah, so I was driving. Talking to my mother on the phone and boom, hit a bird. Hit a little birdie bird. And then uh, kept on driving. And then a truck, a semi truck, looked like it hit a uh, deer. Sorry, I'm videotaping the little cat. It causes all the damage. It's actually not that bad of a cat. But anyway, um, yeah, so a. Uh, Semi truck hit like a deer or a cow or I have no clue. There was just debris and bones and stuff everywhere. So I slowed down, avoided a bunch of that junk. Um, that was the first thing actually that happened. And then when I got into Reno, the stupid little bird swooped down and just poof of feathers. Um, yeah, I hit the bird. And then, uh, started driving. Well, obviously, I was just still driving. And, uh, I just kept driving, driving, driving. And then it started getting dark. And I had a big old bird. It's either a bat. It's either a bat or a bird or... I have no clue. Tree trimmers are here. I don't know what. I don't know. See if they're gonna, I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I hit a bat or an owl or something because it was kind of dark. Um, I hit it with that side of the car. I think the first bird I hit was like dead center of the car. And then the other out, the owl or the big bird hit that side. So... Um, hey man, I don't know what these people are doing. I like tree trimmers. They just put out some insulators in front of my neighbor's house. Insulators for insulate wire, for the wire. They insulate the wires when they're going to be working around power lines. Um, anyway, so I did that, did that, and then I'm driving, and then I hit a little rabbit. I'm like, man, stupid little animals all day. So then I. Oh. So the tire blew. Oh, they're going to be cutting trees down, down there. So they got to turn the power, the transformer rate right up here by my house. Because I hablo espanol. Um. Anyway, so hit a rabbit, whatever, driving along, and uh, uh, ended up hitting a desert fox. It looked like a desert fox because it looked like a little dog, a little furry dog, like a um, almost like a little chinchilla or something, a little floaty dog, and ended up hitting that, um, which kind of feel bad because those are actually kind of cool. 
And then I hit a big old jackrabbit. And then I believe I hit a uh, a wheel wheel liner. So like the liner that goes inside the wheel wheel. Um, but I was driving and man, I thought I thought it was an engine block. And uh, I just slammed on the brakes in the car next to me. They locked up their brakes. And it just disappeared. And I'm like, well, what the heck? Am I seeing stuff? Or what's going on here? Um, so anyway, that was not too far from the exit. I had to exit. And uh, so I pull over to check the car. Look at it. I'm like, man, I don't, I don't, there was no damage. Nothing happened. And... Uh, yeah, so the guy, the guy that was next to me, he had pulled over ahead, and I pulled up to go exit, and he's like, hey, man. He's like, What's, what the heck was that? The thing was huge. I was like, dude, I don't know. It was a trash bag or something. But I'm thinking it was a wheel, wheel well liner because of the super, super windy. So anyway, I hit that, and I'm like, man, what else am I going to freaking hit? So... And then I was coming into my little town. I didn't hit anything or anything, but the they're doing construction. They're doing a bridge, Caltrans and uh, uh, Aqueduct. They're doing a they're widening a little uh, bridge, an overpass for the Aqueduct, and they got the freaking lights just blasting at me. You know, the work lights just blasting at traffic, and I'm like, dude, like I can't see nothing. You know. Ugh super bright so i'm like flashing flashing and then i see a little stop sign you know going like this like waving i was like okay there's somebody up there you know by that time i was doing like 10 miles an hour 15 miles an hour so i pull up the guy stops me i was like so i roll on the window i was like hey and he comes over the car I was like hey dude can you you know adjust those lights so they're down so they're not blinding people because i can't i couldn't see you the only reason I saw you is because you're the reflection of your stop sign. And he goes, oh, well, you, you're, you're like number 100, 100 person, tell me. And I said, dude, you're going to get killed out here. I said, so tell your freaking boss or something to turn these lights down, point them down to the ground or something so that you know, they're just not direct at traffic. But anyway, so then I got home. Got home at uh, about 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm home. And it's about 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that. And, uh, yeah. Got home, took a shower, and went to sleep. I was tired. Still tired. Um, but I want to go check out something real quick. Um, something to last video. I just got to go check out uh, the work they did. And everything. Um which will be next video, but it pertains to last video. So, anyway, if you haven't seen that video, go check out that video. And if not, then you can check out this next video. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to drink some drink, something cold. It's warming up out here. And dogs are barking. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Later.